Hello there everybody, the name's Prototype and welcome back to The Walking Dead. Now, where we last left off, we just saw these uh, dead couple. Um, Lee, are you okay? Yeah. Yeah. Let's keep at it. Talk to Kenny. Don't ask me how I'm doing. Let's just keep going. Okay. As you are. Streets are full. Hundreds of them. Let's have a talk with absolutely everybody, see if we can get any more plot points. I guess Crawford would have gotten them anyway. Yo, oh, that was a cheery thought. It's sick, but think of all the pain they avoided. Anything else? Because I don't want to leave anything unturned. Um, no, I think that is it. Balcony door. Might be the way out. Yes, yeah, go have a look. <clears throat> Nothing other than personal items in here. Looks like we can stay off the streets all the way to River nice. Street if we're careful. Let's go. Uh, well, we're gonna have to click or do something. There we go. Yay, we did it. All we need left is Kenny. Ooh, that was close. Let's keep going. Be careful up here. They haven't learned to climb yet, right? <laughs> Hopefully not. Hopefully they haven't learned to climb. Okay. Oh, I'm sure we're gonna have to faint or something here. It's good to be moving. Ready for whatever's coming? I got a lot of pain inside me, Lee. I'd like to get even a little bit of it out. You got that walkie-talkie? Yeah, of course I do. You might want to give him a call and tell him we're coming for him. Yeah, right. Yeah, maybe. Careful cross here. <laughs> Ooh, long way down. Very long way down. Don't look down, Lee. Don't look down. Ah! It's a good job he isn't afraid of heights. River Street's just up ahead. Ooh. Nope. Maw of darkness full of walkers? Fuck that shit. This roof could give way. Don't gotta tell me twice. Let's keep going, you bunch of lollygaggers. <laughs> oh dear. Oh fuck. <sighs> well, I'm so sorry. We have to get it back. That's our lifeline to her. But we can find this guy without it. And what if we don't? We need every clue that comes out of it. Lee's right. I am so fucking sorry. It's fine. We just need to figure out who's going down there. No, we don't. Oh, really? Krista! Jesus fucking Christ! I got it. Get me up. Okay, there's gonna be more clicking Fuck. at some point. We can't reach. Find something fast. Fast would be good. Keep a fucking eye on her. Okay, uh, ha, pipe, pole thing. Grab onto this, we'll pull you up. Good. I right, need to click Q, everything probably. Yeah, there we go. Ooh. Ooh, made noise.
Hopefully there's none in here. Oh, yep, there's one. Shit, they're in there! Fuck. Jump! Jump up here, baby! Let's go! Jump! <sighs> Me in my fucking mouth. Go, Kenny. What are you doing? Get her, Ken! Can't said all that shit and not do something now. Come on, reach. I'll probably need to push you again. Save her! Go, go, go! Do you fucking hear me? Ooh. Sorry about the clicking. This is very sorry about the clicking, guys. There we go. Get Kenny! Where are you? Ooh. Ooh, Kenny! It's all right. Maybe you'll find us. What if he doesn't? He went down there for you. I know he did. He. He. No use doing it now. I know what happens, so I don't want to say give spoilers for people who don't know what's going on. <sighs> Oh well. Oh well indeed. Okay. Marshall's hotel is around the corner of the block. Are you okay? Do you want to talk? Fuck up to Claire. It's Kenny to answer for it too. Keep a clear head, Lee. We wouldn't be out here. We'd all been together to defend against Vernon. We would be out on the water. Everyone would be alive. This is a shitty time. I want to make sure we're clear before we mm. go forward. It's fair enough. What is it? Now with Kenny gone, means Omid and I have to stay safe. For her. Yeah, you do. Let me take all the risks. That's not what I mean, necessarily. It's what I mean. <laughs> it's what we gotta do. We have to cross here. Well, at least it doesn't look like a death trap. <laughs> <laughs> Who's going first? You're the lightest. He's got a busted leg. And you're walking for two. Doing so hard. Decision doesn't make itself. I'll go first, in case anything happens out there. Yep. You sure. Yeah. Okay. Time to walk. Time to walk over to the Marsh Hotel. Just go nice and slow. Ooh. It's not designed to take people's weight. Almost there. It's an easy crossing. Good. There we go. Almost to the other side. It should be stronger though. Oh. Oh dear. Ooh, famous last words. Okay? Fine. I'm kind of fucked here. What are you gonna do? Uh. Fuck it. I'm going for it. Going for it? What does that mean? It means I'm already bitten. I just have to push my way through. 
What the fuck? Uh. Let's meet outside of town, by the train. Are you nuts? It's the only way. Do you hear me? Yeah, by the train. Jesus, we'll be there. Way. Hopefully, we'll, well, we've already been betting, so as uh, Lee says. Marsh Hotel, the Marsh House, Marsh Hotel. Ah, that's convenient. Ugh. Why? Oh, he's on a mission. There we go, another one down. Oh, he's on a mission. There we go, then nearly didn't get him in time. Not long now, guys. All these rooms. Oop. Where are we going? Oh, there we go. Listen at the door. Oh, maybe silence. Go in there. Yeah, that's clever. Look at door. Got us adjoining rooms. Hello. Okay. This is civil. Yeah, it's meant to be civil. Horrible. Go over there. Yeah, better do as he says. Put your things down. Let me out. Who's out there? No oh dear. Quiet, please, sweetie. Your things. There. On the painting. Let me Just give everything come. over. Do I not seem cool? Good. Go sit down. Well, this is going to be civil. Do you know who I am? No. I don't know anything about you. You wouldn't. People like you don't. Mm. Now you're thinking, who would have it out for me, huh? A few weeks back, there might have been a station wagon in the forest. Full of all sorts of food, water, 
things you need Ooh. to survive. Yeah. I'm not some cannibal, Lee. Some killer out in the woods. Some villain. I'm just a dad. I coach Little E. Everything was just out there for the taking. We were starving. For Do the you're... taking? Do you know what you took from me? Don't you start on who took what from who. I didn't take her from you. I rescued her from you. Don't you get that? Mm -hmm. I know I'm quite quiet, quiet, but this is very story based. Hurt somebody you care about. Not on purpose. If it were on purpose, you'd be a sociopath. I hurt her. So bad. My son Adam went missing. I took him out hunting even though right. my wife said he was too young. I figured he had to learn. I came back without him and the look on her face said, You are a monster. Mm. We all went out looking for him. We never found him. Right. I hurt her so bad. Then you took all of our things. You robbed us. I could have earned her trust back, Lee, but not after that. I'm sorry. The hungrier we got, the more she blamed me. Until she finally took our daughter Elizabeth and left. Yeah, but... They didn't get far. I found them a day later. In the road. Oh dear. Do I look like a monster to you? We all do. Some more than others. I'm not like you. Yeah. You yeah. killed a man with a pitchfork right in front of a little girl. Uh. It's more complicated than that. You abandoned a defenseless, grieving woman. You weren't there. The sweatshirt she's wearing was my boy's. You stole that from us. Mm. That's not the whole story. The whole story? <laughs> How could you know all this? Oh, because Clem was talking. You're a monster. You're a murderer and a thief. And I'm gonna hurt you so bad. Yeah, but well, they... Just give me Clementine back. I'd rather kill her myself. Because that's what will happen if she goes with you. After I heard Clementine on the radio and realized who you folks were, I came after you purely for revenge. Mm. But the more I heard about the things you did and the danger she was in, our plan changed. Lee, listen to me. I need you to hear this before what happens next. Mm. I can take care of her. We can have a family. I bet no. you don't even know how old she is. She's eight. Wrong. She's nine. But... Her birthday was six days ago. I know how to be a dad, you know. Yeah. She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been with you. Yeah, but how can you guarantee that? No. Shut up. It makes sense. It's not happening. Let us go. No. No, I don't think so. You're going away, and we're starting a new family. Ooh, hey, honey, I think this is all going to work out. What are you? I'm glad to. Oh, that was a uh, done up well. 
I wish it wouldn't have had to get this bad, but it's all over, hon. Isn't it? Just about. I hate seeing you like this. I just uh, miss you need so to wait for the. I miss you so moment. much, Tess. You're gonna like Clementine a lot, though. She's not Lizzie, but she's sweet. She wouldn't hurt a fly. Oh, sorry about the clicking. Sorry about the clicking, clicking, clicking. More clicking. Sorry about the clicking, guys. Sorry, 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 sorry. Uh, sorry. Just go away. Die. Oh. Oh. What on clan? I, I, I. It's okay. It's okay. I. Poor clan. Been through a lot. You look horrible. That's what he said. Let's just get somewhere safe. You don't smell good. Yeah. <laughs> Clementine, we don't have much time. Okay. I'm sorry, Lee. I'm uh... sorry. Shh. It's okay, sweetie. We need to get you somewhere safe. And then we have to talk, okay? Yeah. Everything's okay now. We need to figure out how to get out of Savannah as fast as we can. Mm. Hey. Yeah, quite a touching moment, actually. I, I know. I wish. I wish you'd never had to learn that. Me too. Okay, that's all we've got time for now, guys. I've uh, got a little bit left to do, but thank you very much for watching this episode of Left, left Foot. The Walking Dead, not Left for Dead. Um, and I will see you in the next episode, guys. Take care.